Hi, I'm Amelia, and I'm afraid of optics. I mean, a lot of us engineers are, really. We cling to our comfortable little copper, no matter if it doesn't quite meet our performance or reliability or signal integrity needs. We know we probably should use optics, but all that blinky light stuff is complicated. Oh, copper. Well, it's time to get rid of that opticophobia, my friends. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk, and today my guest is Matthew Burns from Samtech, and we're going to put all of those fears of optics to rest with our discussion of some great high-speed, high-reliability optics solutions. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about Samtech's Optical Firefly Micro Flyover System. Hey, Matt, thank you so much for joining me. Hey, Amelia, it's good to be with you again. Excellent. Okay, so we're here to talk about optics today, and you're seeing them in a bunch of new applications. Is that true? That is, Amelia. The last time that we talked on one of the Chalk Talks, we gave a nice overview of all of Samtech's Firefly micro flyover optical solutions. Your viewers can look at that online and, and kind of get a foundation, a better understanding of what Firefly is. But just as a brief overview, Samtech has one of our tech centers that we call our Samtech Optical Group. And this is a collection of uh, engineers that are dedicated to the design, development, and application support of optical engines, active and passive optical solutions. The focus of our discussion today is on the uh, active optical solutions. You can see from our product chart that we have several flavors of that. Our core ECUO supports anywhere between 14 to 28 gigabit. Our extended temperature Firefly supports 10 gigabit at a water temperature range. We'll talk more in detail about that today. We'll also talk some about our PCI Express over fiber solutions that we have and our copper versions as well. So lots of new technologies. Lots of new applications that have really given Samtech an opportunity to expand our product offering. Excellent. Okay, so that first item on your list is submersible Firefly, and I'm super interested in this, Matt. Tell me more. Who would ever thought you'd want to put an optical fiber in under a uh, liquid? It's kind of cool, right? Right. One of the reasons that we're seeing an increase in interest in submersible Firefly, Amelia, is because it's popular within high-performance computing or supercomputing applications to submerge entire computing platforms within uh, a liquid-cooled system. The liquid cooling is needed just because of the amount of heat that the systems are giving off and also because of the high speeds that the systems are running at. We've had a growing number of customers ask us, can you make an optical engine that can work in industry standard liquid cooling systems? So at first we're like, mm, not right now, but yeah, let's, let's give it a try. So over the last several quarters, this has been a technology that we've continued to develop and continue to invest uh, engineering resources in. So this is actually a picture of a system that we have developed and tested in industry standard liquid cooling systems. We actually displayed this for the first time at Supercomputing 2018. So what this is, is Firefly and an immersion cooling application. Some of the benefits of using this approach, it uses 50% less power. Firefly, because of its small form factor, actually increases the density of, of the optical transceivers by four times. And of most importance to our customers is we've seen no electrical or optical performance degradation, even though the system has been submersed for over 2,000 hours. In this particular picture, we actually see a Xilinx VC-118 development kit that has our Firefly transceiver. You can see the bright red arrow. We actually panned the Firefly bright red so you can see it. That's not our standard color, but at least it makes it easier to see. Yeah. The actual liquid that we're using is a 3M Fluorinert SC43. That's pretty standard across the semiconductor industry for these type of applications. When it comes to this test, when it comes to this demonstration, we've actually run it for over 2,000 hours. We've tested multiple liquids. The one that we found to work the best is the 3M Fluorinert FC43. And we've actually been able to test the system with a pressure of up to 60 PSI. So we haven't commercially made this available yet because we're still working through the development. But it's a really cool application. And when we have showed it to customers or at trade shows, we, we get a continued interest. We will continue to develop that in 2019. And we hope to release it at the, at the appropriate time. Excellent. That is super cool. So, Matt, what are some other applications where you've seen Firefly being used in today? One of the areas that's really taken off for us is really within mill aero, industrial, or other similar applications that are requiring an extended temperature optical transceiver. We've seen interest from commercial airframe customers. We've seen interest from mill airframe customers. 
we've worked with some of the tier one defense contractors, not only in North America, but around the globe on this type of application when it comes to communications. And because we have such unique solution for onboard optics, we expect similar ruggedized applications to continue in popularity within our customer base. Okay. So what kinds of features are we really looking at here, Matt? Our extended temperature product family, which we call our ETO series, has an extended temperature range of minus 40 to 85 degrees C. As we mentioned, that's having increased popularity within the mill arrow and ruggedized uh, applications. Our existing platform can operate up to 10.3125 gigabits per second per channel. It's placed within close proximity to the system ASIC or FPGA. We have demonstrated error-free transmission during applied external shock and vibe testing that conforms to uh, mill standard 810G. We also have a extended temperature PCIe over fiber solution that we're working on. We'll talk about that here in just a few moments. We've also had a lot of requests from our customers for higher speed versions of ETUO. Now we're happy to announce that we have a 12.5 gigabit per second prototype of ETUO that we have available. And we are actively developing our 25 gigabit per second ETUO solution as well. And we expect to be able to release that in the coming uh, quarters. Cool. Okay. So we've talked a lot about extended temp for mill arrow and industrial designs, but what other Firefly enabled solutions is Samtech working on? Well, one of the things that we're seeing when it comes to Firefly is that there are a lot of standard interconnect that support fiber optics already installed within those ecosystems. And because customers don't want to change or re-engineer existing interconnect solutions, we have to fit within those systems. A good example of that is a metalized 38999 shell. Samtech is not a mill arrow connector manufacturer, but we partner with leaders in that space, such as, as Amphenol. We have the ability to embed ETUO with an MT ferrule within a MT38999 shell. And the illustration uh, shows what that looks like. Another similar solution is the ARIB interconnect shell which comes out of the broadcast video market, which is based mainly in Japan, but we're starting to see global solutions for that standard. It's a BNC type of interface that the MT ferrule can be embedded in. Another popular solution that we're working on specifically for mill airframe is Arink 801 Termini. So a single fiber per Termini is applied. And there are many advantages that the genderless Arink 801 Termini have that makes it very popular within the industry. These are three of many optical interconnect solutions that Samtech makes available as end options on our ETO series of Firefly solutions. So let's talk about that next one down on your list, PCIe over fiber solutions. This area has really taken off for us maybe more than we anticipated. One of the industry trends that we're seeing is the adoption of PCI Express outside the system box, if you will. You know just as well as I do, Amelia, that PCI Express, when it was formed, was meant to be an electrical interface between the system microprocessor and the system I.O. chip. Intel and the x86 ecosystem really adopted that standard and ran with it. Yeah. What we've noticed at Samtech over the last several years is that customers in various applications are getting PCI Express outside the box. Instead of going a few inches on a PCB, they're going a few feet or maybe a few meters copper in copper wire, which yeah. we're able to support. We also have developed a niche application of Firefly that's targeting PCI Express over fiber solution. Our product family there, we call PCUO. This transmits PCI Express signals at Gen 3 data rates through a Firefly optical engine at up to lengths of uh, 100 meters. It supports PCI Express protocol for low latency, power saving, and guaranteed transmissions. We also offer transparent and non-transparent bridging. It's very easy to design with both downstream, making the solution smaller, Currently, we have PCI Express Gen 3. We're getting a ton of requests for PCI Express Gen 4, and we are working on prototypes as we speak. Excellent. Okay, Matt, so we've covered the PCIe over fiber business, but have you put this into a real system? Are you trying to get our secret sauce, Amelia? <laughs> Sounds like <laughs> yeah, you are. Secretly. <laughs> so the answer is yes, we have. Samtech is an interconnect manufacturer, so we've done all the testing necessary to come up with PCUO. Many of our customers have asked us the same question you just asked. Has Samtech put PCO into a system? And the answer is yes. So we work with one of our partners, Dolphin, to create our PCOA series. And what that is, is an adapter card in a PCI Express form factor that uses uh, PCO to enable PCIe communications between a PCI Express root complex and a PCI Express endpoint. 
as the illustration shows, our PCOA solution comes in a PCI Express by 16 edge card form factor. This supports PCIe Gen 3 performance. It's scalable for cost-optimized performance. What does that mean? Well, just because it's an ABI 16 form factor doesn't mean that it can't support various configurations. So this can support a single by 4 a single by 8 quad by 4 dual by 4 dual by 8 or single by 16 So just about any type of PCI Express interface that a customer may have, we have support for. Similar to PCUO, the PCOA also offers transparent and non-transparent bridging for system flexibility and multiprocessor support. Literally, we have demonstrated this system by putting one PCOA card at the root complex, another PCOA card at the endpoint, and communicating transparently in the system without having to add any PCI Express software within the system. So anyone that's interested in that can contact us and we'll work with them to get that system up and running. Cool. So Matt, we have talked a lot about legacy data rates, but what about the data rates going forward? Everybody asks us that question. Why is everybody always interested in faster data rates? Now, right? that's a joke. I mean, obviously, everybody's interested in what's next. What's the fastest speeds? One of the things that Samtech has launched in 2019, we announced our next generation Firefly solution that we're calling Firefly Direct Connect. This is our first Firefly platform that has data rates supporting up to 56 gigabit per second PAM4. So that's double the data rate of the current platform or solutions that we have. Some of the performance advantages that Firefly Direct Connect has is the fact that it directly connects to the chip package for increased performance. So instead of being on the PCB, we can actually attach uh, Firefly to the BGA substrate on the system. This eliminates signal distortion through the BGA package, and it also allows for critical data to route over noisy PCBs. So not only do we see increased SI performance, but we also see increased data performance as well. Samtech's Firefly Direct Connect technology also has power efficiency benefits. It offers the industry's lowest power options for onboard optical transceivers. It's more than three times as power efficient as popular QSFP platforms. It also enables next generation 56G PAM4 data rates with minimal energy per bit. The Firefly Direct Connect platform also has a tremendous amount of flexibility and density. It's over four times smaller than popular QSFP platforms. It also offers up to twice the front panel density as QSFP DD. The reason that this platform is so flexible is because it's removable and interchangeable from the same microconnector as we have illustrated here, both for our active optics and our high speed flyover twin axe cable assemblies, which are copper based. Okay, so Matt, what kind of configuration options do I have for the Firefly Direct Connect? Well, our Firefly solutions, whether copper or optics, are protocol agnostic. One of the popular things that we're seeing in the industry is 400G Ethernet applications. So both the copper and the optical solutions support the various 400 gigabit Ethernet protocols that are shown here. We also have the ability to take Firefly directly from the ASIC or the FPGA over the PCB to the backplane. So that provides a paradigm shift in terms of system design which can, again, offer improved performance for data center equipment vendors. Some of the additional features that we have with Firefly Direct Connect is it, it offers better SI compared to QSFP and QSFP DD ports. It enables longer reach DACs within the industry with lower BER, and it's also scalable up to 112 gigabit per second PAM4 data rates and beyond as we continue to scale the optical transceivers. So, Matt, I can imagine there are a lot of thermal concerns to be addressed here. You're right, Amelia. I mean, within any system, when you increase performance and when you increase data rates and when you increase system density, there's going to be more heat. So that's a chief technical concern that system designers have to confront. The flexibility of, of Firefly Direct Connect technology enables removing heat more quickly than classic system designs. Why is that? Well, we've designed the thermal relief within the Firefly Direct Connect to work either with air or liquid cooling. This also offers a high thermal isolation between the FPG and ASIC and the Firefly. It also enables the optics to operate at lower temperatures than the FPGA or ASIC. So again, you can see that the design of the system really helps us to eliminate the thermal concerns. Sure. So Matt, how am I going to get started? What's your eval kit story look like? We talked a little bit about that on our last Firefly Chalk Talk, Amelia, but just to update your listeners on some of the solutions we have, we have a 14 gigabit Firefly FMC development kit, which targets any FPGA platform that has the Vita 57.1 FMC interface. 
Yeah. Obviously, the Xilinx uh, FPGA carry cards and the Intel PSG carry cards have that solution. The 14G Firefly card supports 10 channels at 14 gigabit per second, which gives you 140 gigabit per second throughput through the card. These are available immediately from Samtech. More recently, we've also come up with a 25 slash 28 gigabit per second Firefly FMC Plus development kit, which takes advantage of the new and expanding Vita 57.4 FMC Plus interface found on the latest FPGA development kits from uh, Xilinx, Intel, PSG, and their ecosystem partners. This has 16 channels of Firefly operating at 28 gigabit per second per channel. So that gives you a total throughput of 448 gigabits per second on the system. These are also available from Samtech immediately. And we've also redesigned our 28 gigabit per second Firefly test kit, which has been designed to enable customers to evaluate any flavor of Firefly, whether that's copper or optical. All right, Matt, let's recap your main points, please. The thing that we want your listeners to take away today, Amelia, is that Samtech continues to invest and expand the solutions that we have available within the Firefly micro flyover system. We mentioned our submersible Firefly, which is capable of being immersed in in liquid-cooled systems. We have our extended temperature Firefly solution, which is targeted at military, aerospace, and industrial applications. We have our PCI Express over fiber applications, which are really designed to enable PCI Express being expanded outside the box or outside the system using our onboard optical engines. And then more recently, and what we're really excited about going into the future is our Firefly Direct Connect. Not only is that a new generation of interconnect offering improved performance, power efficiency, flexibility, and density, but it provides Samtech and our customers a roadmap to 56G PAM4 data rates and beyond. For more information on all of these solutions, your listeners can email our technical experts at firefly at samtech.com, or they can visit our website at samtech.com slash firefly. On the website, we also have our latest and greatest Firefly application design guide, which provides additional technical details on all of these uh, Firefly solutions. Excellent. Well, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me, Matt. Thanks, Amelia. It's always a pleasure talking with you and to your listeners. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about Samtech's optical Firefly micro flyover system. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. Can't miss it, it's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, keyword EE Journal. <laughs>